Good morning, everyone. Happy Easter. We will be singing today at the Lamb's High Feast. At the Lamb's High Feast we sing praise to our victorious King. He has washed us in the tide flowing from his open side. Praise we him whose love divine gives his sacred blood for wine, gives his body for the feast, Christ the victim, Christ the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, Death's dark angel sheathes his sword. Israel's host triumphant go through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed, Paschal victim, Paschal bread, with sincerity and love. Eat we manna from above. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, my brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. As we continue in this fourth week of Easter at this Mass, we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Father Brian McCullough and the special intention for Anthony Passero. Gathering our prayers into one, let us recognize our sinfulness before our God and turn to him for mercy, for he is full of gentleness and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at God's right hand. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who restore human nature to yet greater dignity than at its beginnings, Look upon the amazing mystery of your loving kindness, and in those you have chosen to make new through the wonder of rebirth, may you preserve the gifts of your enduring grace and blessing. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul and his companions set sail for Pathos, and came to Persia in Pamphylia. John, however, left them and returned to Jerusalem, but they went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the Law and the Prophets, the officials of the synagogue sent them a message saying, Brothers, if you have any word of exhortation for the people, give it. So Paul stood up, and with a gesture began to speak. You Israelites and others who fear God, listen. The God of this people Israel chose our ancestors and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt. And with uplifted arm, he led them out of it. For about 40 years, he put up with them in the wilderness. After he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance for about 450 years. After that, he gave them judges until the time of the prophet Samuel. Then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin who reigned for 40 years. When he had removed them, God made David their king. In his testimony about David, God said, I have found David, son of Jesse, to be a man after my own heart who will carry out all my wishes. Of this man's posterity, God has brought to Israel a Savior, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had already proclaimed a baptism of repentance to the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his work, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No, but one is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of the sandals on his feet. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I will sing of your steadfast love, O Lord, forever. 
With my mouth I will proclaim your faithfulness to all generations. I declare that your steadfast love is established forever. Your faithfulness is as firm as the heavens. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have found my servant David. With my holy oil I have anointed him. My hand shall always remain with him. My arm also shall strengthen him. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. My faithfulness and steadfast love shall be with him, and in my name his name shall be exalted. He shall cry to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus Christ, you are the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. You have loved us and washed away our sins in your blood. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. After Jesus had washed the feet of the disciples, he returned to the table and said to them, Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. If you know these things, you are blessed if you do them. I am not speaking of all of you. I know whom I have chosen. But it is to fulfill the scripture the one who ate my bread has lifted his heel against me. I tell you this now before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe that I am he. Very truly I tell you, whoever receives one whom I send receives me, and whoever receives me receives him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the gospel wipe away our sin. Amen. Friends, we continue to see this week that Jesus connects himself to the Father. He is unlocking the mystery of the Trinity and reminding his disciples that he's not just a good guy, that he is the King of Kings, the one whom all the prophets long for, the one who is revealed that would be the Messiah, the Savior, and our Lord. We know this to be true, but we need to be reminded just as the first disciples were. Notice the setting of today's gospel takes place just after Jesus washed the feet of the disciples. We heard this gospel just some four weeks ago on Holy Thursday in which Jesus knelt down and washed the feet of his disciples with the expectation that they would do the same for others. The expectation has been passed to us the baton has been passed, so to speak. How are you and I living out our baptismal call? How often we are called to wash the feet of the people around us. We say, well, yeah, I, I did this for my kids, or I'm taking care of my elderly parents now. Fantastic. That's exactly what God wants us to do. But the washing of the feet goes far beyond our family members. Washing of feet is ministering to anyone who God puts on our path, recognizing human need, and not only recognizing it, but responding to it. How often are you and I called to put our own ego aside and to serve someone else? In doing so, at first we might be reluctant, but after doing it, we are filled with true joy, a joy that only comes to us when we serve God and neighbor, placing our own needs third to that of God and other. That's how we experience true joy. Jesus others you, J-O-Y. Jesus, as servant leader, sets the tone for all of us and expects us to do the same. So let us put aside all excuses, our egos, whatever is stopping us from doing just that. We will have an encounter with the risen Christ when we do become a servant leader a disciple of God. So therefore, how is God asking you and me to wash the feet of others? Are we willing to do so?
Let us pray. As disciples of Jesus, we place our prayers before the Father, trusting in his goodness and love. Our response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church. May the joy of the gospel inspire us as missionary disciples, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all leaders of nations and peoples, and for the resolution of conflicts among them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are coerced or forced service to another. May the Lord rescue them and instill in them the assurance of their own human dignity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For this community of faith here at St. Joseph, may Christ enable us to know him more and more, and may this knowledge inspire us in service to God and one another, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and the diaconate, especially in our great diocese, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for an end to the spread of the coronavirus, for all those affected by the virus, for researchers to find a vaccine, for the continued protection of our frontline care workers and all who keep us safe, for those who've died because of the virus, and for the families who mourn their loss, that God may bring them comfort and peace, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who have died and gone before us, marked with the sign of faith. We remember especially Father Brian, the holy souls in purgatory, and all who have died. May they be rewarded for their service in God's name, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all the intentions we hold within the silence of our hearts, Loving God, hear the prayers we offer you today in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread which we offer you, root of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mingling of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine which we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, of my iniquity. Cleanse me of my many sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. May your prayers rise up to you, O God, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love. Through Christ our Lord. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land and every people exult in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with all the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. My Jesus, mercy. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Gerard, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious, remember your servant, Father Brian, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her husband, with your blessed apostles, with St. Paul, St. Catherine of Alexandria, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. Turn and offer one another a sign of the Lord's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world, free us by this your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from all that is evil, Keep us faithful to your commandments, and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the blood of Christ bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. As you prepare your heart to receive a spiritual communion, I invite you to pray. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us spend a few moments in quiet prayer thanking Jesus for the gift of the Eucharist. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal Sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of the saving food. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us turn to our Blessed Mother as we pray. We fly to thy protection, O Holy Mother of God. Despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. And in this month of May, as we Ask Mary's intercession, we also pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass has ended. Let us go forth in the peace and love of Jesus Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Where the paschal blood is poured, death's dark angel sheathes his sword. 
Israel's host triumphant go through the wave that drowns the foe. Praise we Christ whose blood was shed, Paschal victim, Paschal bread, with sincerity and love, eat we manna from above. Easter triumph, Easter joy, sin alone can this destroy. From sin's power do set us free, souls reborn, O Lord, to thee. Hymns of glory, songs of praise, Father, unto you we raise. Risen Lord, all praise to you, with the Spirit ever true.